day. Shalom, shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Shai, our Lord and Savior, by Hashem Kodash, the Holy Spirit, uh, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and honors and salutation to the hopeful elect. You know, the hopeful elect of Yahweh Shai, you know, as our beautiful brother, you know, and teacher, Apostle Kabar, you know, says. Um, yeah, man, I just wanted to touch on a few things, you know, because uh, Apostle Kabar had did a show, you know, basically on manners, you know, and, uh, I, man, that show hit me, man. And I, I sent that show to the, you know, to the brothers in the chat. And I said, you know, it's, that's, it's a must watch, you know, but uh, before I touch on that, you know, I want to touch on um, this topic of, uh, you know, high priest, you know, high, uh, it's like a King Masha, um, high priest, uh, high priest Yaikwa, and um, uh, high priest Arya. Now, King Masha and high priest Yaikwa, I've never met, you know, you know, I, I never had the honor of being around them, you know, but I love hearing, you know, the stories about them, you know, how they were, their mannerisms and everything, you know, even stories about High Priest Arya, and for certain, man, the stories about High Priest Arya is, is, is certainly true, because even in the in the state that he's in right now, he's still a humble, he's still a humble man, you know, and I'll give a little testimony on that, um, so, you know, let's start, let's start off with the king. You know, who when I first heard that, you know, uh High Priest Masha is King David, you know, honestly, immediately I believed it. You know? And I always remember the scripture where Yahweh Shai had told King David <laughs> or Peter that uh flesh and blood have not revealed it unto you when, when he asked Peter, Who do you who do, who do thou think I am? And Peter said, Thou art the son of the most high. And he said, Bless all thou Simon Bar Jonah. The flesh and blood have not revealed it unto you, but you know the the spirit of the Most High, because the Most High have a special relationship with uh, King David. You know, because King David is you know the representation of the Most High on earth. You know, which Yahweh, of course is first is Yahweh Shai. I'm talking about in human form, not God form. <laughs> you know, but it goes deeper than that. You know, so um, where and, and a lot of part of that is is beyond my understanding. So let me let me just mention that, you know. But I I, I knew it, man. It, it was just something about that man looking at his face, you know, and uh, just looking at him, man, in the videos how he speaks, you know, his mannerisms. From what I could tell from the video, you know, I, I believed it. So, you know, you ain't need much convincing. For me, I mean, to me, but um, now this is when um, I truly, you know, I mean, I, mean, I believed it, but it, it, it sparked even even greater belief was when I, you know, I had a dream, and when I told this dream to Apostle Har after camp, this was the first time I had that dream was on 34th Street, and I had that dream twice, the same dream twice, and um. I told Apostle Har, and immediately after I told Apostle Har, you know, he um he told the whole camp, hey brothers, group up. Y'all gotta hear this, you know. So I, I told the dream to the whole camp. So I said, you know, it was a dream that, you know, I was on a train platform. I believe it was it was like it was almost like Simpson Street. If brothers live in the Bronx, they, they know what Simpson Street is. It was almost like that platform, and I believe it was around the four train. I believe it was a four train line, but it looked like Simpson Street. And um, there was a man, and I know the, the apostles always show that picture with High Priest Yaquab in that leather jacket, and I believe he had that hat on. He was just like that in the dream, just like that in the dream. You know, he wasn't. Uh, he wasn't very tall. You know, he was about my height, you know, and he came to me, he just walked up to me and said, yep, I am King David, 
You know, and I had that dream twice. Two times I had that same exact dream. The man said, yep, I am King David. <laughs> you know, and I was like, what? I was like, man, <laughs> you know, that was all the spirit of the Lord. You know, that was all the spirit of the Lord, man. You know, why that man would come to me in that dream and, and, and tell me that two times. So when I told Apostle Har, you know, and I know Apostle Har was extremely close to, to King Masha, and hey man, I, that's that's a man I would I would I, I would love to have met, you know. I would have loved to have met met um you know King Masha, you know. So fast forward now, I believe this was uh early 2020, 2021. Or was it 2020? I believe no, it was 2020. Because uh <laughs> I remember right after I told Pastor Hard, he was like, brother, you got to cut your hair off. And I was like, you know what? Hey, fuck it. <laughs> so I cut it off. And um, I had another dream that uh, Apostle, and Apostle Hard posted a video. The latest video Apostle Hard posted of himself speaking alongside Apostle, um, High Priest Ariya. Um, Apostle Hard was wearing that same blue Mitri and a blue jacket. In the um in the in the dream. Now in that dream, I believe it was me and three other brothers. I remember the elder brother Zakar, he was there in that dream with me. And I'm not sure if it was uh Lamadia or Rapa also that was there with me, but it was one of those brothers, or maybe it was another brother. I'm not I can't remember. But I remember it was three of us, and I believe it was two angels, and I had a dream about those two angels before and I believe those two angels were, were Michael and Gabriel because I had a dream that um those two angels they, they they came in the form of two Jakes these twins they were twins and I remember I used to always see these these uh twin Jakes walking around my neighborhood they were very tall man very very tall brothers man and I and I see them every from now and then but in the dream the first dream about uh uh Michael and Gabriel you know, we was on a rooftop, and um, basically, they I believe I asked them, are you angels? And they revealed themselves unto me. I, 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 something to the effect that, yes, we are Michael and Gabe. Something, it, it didn't happen exactly like that. I don't want to, you know, say anything falsely because I don't truly remember it. But I remember they did reveal themselves unto me. And then... um. Now fast forward to, to the dream, the sec the, the third dream of uh, High Priest Masha, I'm mean, I mean King Masha, excuse me. Um, so it was a meeting. It was a meeting, and um, like I said, it was me. I remember it was me, Zakar, and it was either Lamadia or Rapa that we were there, and those two angels were there, Michael and Gabriel. I believe it was them. Again, that was there. The spirit is telling me, yes, that was them. And um, high priest, we were, we were guarding. We 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 were standing guard. Um, when um, elder apostle Tahar or high priest Tahar, you know, that's a good title for the man. You know, he he was uh, having a meeting with King Masha. And King Masha and him, um. When they walked up, they they both had Apostle Har had a had a blue jacket on. He had a blue jacket, and so did and um high priest uh, King Masha had a had a navy blue jacket on, and and then like a navy blue uh, Mitri. But um Apostle Har was and the first time I met Apostle Har, um it was on Delancey Street when I walked up to the camp, and um. And it's funny because I had I had twists in, in my head at that time, you know, and I, I didn't know no better, man. But and Apostle Hart, he had a, that that powder blue jacket. I, I don't know if brothers brothers remember Apostle Hart used to always wear that 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 powder blue jacket on. So Dimitri and the um and the jacket was that almost that same color, but not as bright, a little darker. But and they, they him and um. And King Marsha met up and they were speaking. I couldn't hear what they were saying to each other, but I know that the three us three brothers was standing guard. 
and and the two angels was also standing guard. And the high priest Tahar, <laughs> high priest Tahar, he was speaking um, uh, with, with with King Masha, you know. And I was looking over, and I was like, "Yo, that's King Masha," <laughs> you know. It's almost like he came from the heavens to have a meeting with a meeting with Pastor Har to, to tell him something, but I couldn't hear anything that they were saying. You know, all I know was I was supposed to stand guard. You know, me alongside the two other brothers and the two angels. You know, so um, you know, and that and that was a dream, and I also told Pastor Har that dream. You know, and I remember that was the same day he told me, hey, brother, you need to cut your hair off because I had to, you know, I had a big ass afro and shit, you know, and that's the first thing he told me. And then he made me tell the camp that, you know, that dream again. So, you know, in, in <laughs> like a uh, math half a show, in my expert opinion, you know, I, I truly believe, you know, Apostle Tahar is a man of the Lord. You know, I truly believe that, you know, all the other other apostles also, you know, Apostle Ramla, beautiful, beautiful brother, uh, Apostle Kabar, you know, beautiful, wonderful, Apostle Ricard, come on, man, beautiful, man, I, I truly believe that, you know, the Lord set me on the right path, that the Lord put me in the right camp amongst the right people, amongst the right men, the Lord basically said, these are my, these are my servants, you know, hear them. Because I speak through them. You know, that's what I perceive. You know. So I told the kid, the whole camp, you know, that, that, that dream or that vision, you know. And, um, you know, whatever brother in the camp w w was spiritual enough to, to see it, saw it. And whatever brother couldn't, you know, see it, then it wasn't for them to see at the, at the point. Maybe the Lord might... You know, give it to them, the understanding of it to them at another time. Now, uh, as far as the meeting with Apostle Har and King Masha, like I said, I don't know what they were saying, but I saw their lips moving. They were talking. I remember when they walked up to each other, they saluted each other, you know, and they started talking. So I don't really know what they were saying, you know. But I, I, like I said, first time I heard it, I knew and I believed that that was King David. And then he came to me twice in a dream and confirmed it. Well, you could say three times in a dream and confirmed it, which three represents what? Understanding. And confirmed it. So I, I truly believe that, yes, you know, that is King David. That is King David. You know, now concerning uh, High Priest Yaikwab, I've never got the pleasure of meeting, you know, that, that prophet that man that great man you know i've never got the pleasure of meeting him but you know through the spirit you know i, I believe you know that he is you know who the apostles say he is I, I i believe it it make it makes sense it make total sense and like apostle har said man this is nothing you can go into the scriptures and say well king david uh uh you know i and uh aaron and uh and jo Joshua the high priest, they're going to be teaching in Harlem. You know? There ain't no scripture that's going to say that, man. Some things are spirit. And just as, as the Lord said to um, Peter, you know, flesh and blood have not revealed it unto you, but the spirit. The spirit is going to reveal certain things unto you if, if, you know, you can, you know, um, you can hold that understanding. You know? Which... You know, I'm I'm greatly honored that you know the Lord Yahweh Shai would show me, you know, such things, you know, because I'm not saying <laughs> my I, I love like going back into the the Book of Kings, the Book of Samuel to read about King David, to read about his his mighty men, to read about his warriors, you know, to read about you know the old times because that's my spell, you know, the the brother um Yahweh the you know, he always says this to me, man. He's like, yo, bro, you know, you got a very old spirit, you know, because like the music I play in my car is like this is pure old school stuff, man. I don't play none of that new school shit, you know? So the brother always tell me that you got a, you got a very old spirit, you know? And that's, I'm, I'm old school, man, you know?
So now let's jump to High Priest Arya. High Priest Arya, you know, this is what's happening when I was uh, at a security job in H and M and shit, and uh, I was, you know, I was uh, I was working the cameras, and he walked into the store, and he used to always wear this like Native American jacket, this Gadite jacket, you know, with with the eagle, you know, he had the hat with the feather. And I'm scrolling the cameras, and I'm like, nah, get the fuck out of here. Hell no. That's not him. And I'm like, yo, that's, you know, as I zoomed in, I'm like, yo, that's, that's High Priest Arya. Yo, so my heart started pounding, man. So what I did, I ran down the stairs. I ran down the stairs to see him, but by the time, and I, and I there was a marshal over there by 125th. Now this is by H and M by Adam Clayton, Adam Clayton uh, building, and I ran down there, man. I ran. I couldn't. I saw. I tried to, to catch him, but I couldn't see. I could, I didn't get to, man. I fucked, and I really I didn't get to, and I was really pissed off. I'm like, no, I mean, I wasn't pissed off. I was just like, damn, man. But another time now, this this this, and this I know this was the spirit of the Lord, man, because I just had cash. You know, got my check from downtown. My office was by like the World Trade Center, so I got my check. And um, once I got that check, now I went up to Harlem because I had to go to work. I went up to Harlem, and I said, you know, I'm, I'm gonna cash this check in that bank right there. There's a bank like a little bit down the block. So I'm walking, and as I come out the bank, my as I come. I'm looking for a parking space, man. What's today? Today's uh, Friday. Okay. As I come out the bank now, I'm looking and I'm... No, I'm sorry. As I as I, I go to enter the bank, who's coming out the bank? High Priest Aria. And my heart immediately started pounding. Oh, shit. It's like, yeah. What's today? It's like, yeah. Forgive me, brother. It's like, yeah. I'm just... Trying to see what day this is. On it's Thursday, nice, 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 nice. Bear with me one second, Bubba Kusha. Let me just park this car real quick. So like it. One second, brothers. I want. I gotta get this out, man. I gotta get this out, man. Slock it. Forgive me one second. I gotta just jump out here and just make sure. Slock it. Forgive me. Okay. So now. As I as I um as I'm walking into the bank, you know, I see the, the man he got the same get up on, man. I'm like, yo, my heart is pounding. It, it, it's just pounding. I'm, I'm like, yo, this is this is high priest are we You know? I'm 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 starstruck. <laughs> so um he holds the door for me and I tell him, I look at him I'm like, yo, you you high priest are we And he just gave me a hug, man. You know, and, and like, when he hugged me, man, I'm like, yo, man, what? And as I'm, you know, you know, you, you know, you get off the hug and I'm just looking at him and his spirit. And I told Apostle Hardest, man, I'm saying, yo, his spirit is just like Apostle Hard. They have the, that similar spirit, man. You know, it, it was almost like, you know, giving Apostle Hard a hug and having a conversation with him. And, um... I'm just like, yo, and I told him, I said, listen, you know, Apostle Har always, you know, they, he always talks good about you, man. He always says good things about you, you know, and I, you know, I believe I told him, I'm not sure if I told him this, that it was an honor to meet you, you know, and um, so he, he had said, yeah, I forgot what we was chopping it up about, man, but everything the Apostle said about that man, about him being humble you know, him being a wonderful brother, like, that was all true. And he showed me that in that short little moment that that was all true, man. 
You know, High Priest R.E.R., man, he got that. His spirit is intense, man. If you're a brother that could, you know, read spirits, if you're a brother that could discern spirits, like you, you, you would know, you would feel it. Like his spirit, like, oh, man, listen, bro. I, I was, I was nervous as shit, man. You know, you know, meeting the high priest Ariel, man, that, that was an intense spirit, man. And, um, it was just a wonderful moment and we was chopping it up. And then, uh, you know, he was telling me, you know, that I should come down to, to the comfy school, you know, to comfy school. And what I said to him was, I said, listen, man, I don't know why Elder Manat, Elder, Elder Manatazak, you know, from over here, he popped into my head that day. And he's, he's popping in my head right now. But I, I, I told him, I said, listen, um, hey, if the spirit compel me, if, this, if it's a part of the spirit that I should be down there with you, then I'll be down there with you. You know, and then, you know, we hugged again. And then, you know, I saluted him out, man. You know, so, you know, showing you that he really wasn't in his right mind, mind state, but his spirit was just so intense. And it was, there was pure, I don't know if this is a word, purity. There's purity in his spirit, man. You know, and then, um, you know, then my cousin, my cousin, um, Shaman, Shaman met him as well. You know, and then I, I was like, you know what, man? It's kind of for omen, no man. It's, it's like my 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 prayer. My name means prayer to beg, and Shimon means oil or to anoint. You know, and we both met. We both met him, and then Apostle Tahar met him years years after. Well, not that many years after. Again, uh, Apostle Tahar did that video. I ran into Arya. You know, and you know, Tahar means pure. You know, so. I believe in the third chapter, you know, that uh, our, our wonderful king had said, you know, you know who he is? Go read the third chapter. You know, I, I believe in that, you know, truly. And like I said, that's this is not scriptural. This is something that if you can receive it, you can receive it. If you can't, then you can't. So, um, you know, that's my testimony on, on, on that, man, on, on the great men. You know, and like I said, it was a, it was an honor to meet that man, and it was an honor, you know, to, you know, have that vision about, you know, the king, and as far as Apostle Har, Apostle Gabar, Apostle Ramlab, you know, it is is a great honor to be amongst them. You know, hey man, it's been what shoot, I, I don't know how long, man, I done, I, I done been around them, and probably since like 2010. Yeah, I remember it was 2010. I've been around them, and it's like I'm still, still nervous to salute them. I'm still nervous when I'm around them. I'm like, oh man, I don't, know, I don't say no stupid shit, you know. So it's all honor, and it's, 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 and it's great respect, you know, because I know truly, like I said, if you're a man that could discern spirits, you know the spirit of the Lord. Your how about me, Ashai, is working with these men, you know. And when you speak to them, when you talk to them, it's like, damn, man. They they talk to you like, like you know, like they're on your level or something, man. You know? And it's just like, man, I'm looking at them like, yo, man, you brothers don't know how, how you know, inspiring you are to us, you know, growing up in, in this truth, man. The apostles, they're a perfect example of how to be in this truth, you know? And I'm speaking, I'm speaking, you know, you, you know, I'm speaking from the heart, man, because, you know, and then it's like, when you look at a dude like Sakari, when he went off on that rent, I always say, man, think about this dude. Imagine you was in the ancient world and cursing out the elders like that, man. How the people will look at you, you know? And that's why I say, man, that, that dude, he's not going to make it. Sakari, he's not going to make it. Hassad, I don't think you're going to make it. You're not going to make it, man. And many guys in the Sakari camp, many guys in, in, in um, IUIC and ISUPK, you're not going to make it, man. I know for sure General Yohanna is not going to make it. Now, Apostle DeHard did explain the dream that Nate had. You know, I, I can honestly see that. I can see that. You know, I can see it. But I don't know. I'm not, I'm not Yahweh Shai. I'm not the Most High. I am not on that level. You know, I'm just a servant, man. 
you know, but then again, the scriptures do tell you to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. So it's like, I can't be worrying about them guys, man. You know, but I know for sure that high priest Ariel will wake up out of, you know, that uh, state that he's in. You know, and that fear Mitri, which is the, the Holy Spirit, will be put on him again. You know, I, I truly believe that, you know, 100 percent believe that, man. And uh, I have wanted to touch on what Apostle Gabar had had said, you know, the show that he did about like manners and all that. Excuse me. You know, and. um, Just <coughs> excuse me. Brothers, like, when you're around other brothers, man, consider your action. Consider your words. You know, even before you speak, you know, consider it before the words come out your mouth. Consider them. You know? What is the effect that these words are going to have on a brother? You know? So just think before you speak, man. You know? Because sometimes your own mouth could condemn you. And, um... You know, if a brother is, is doing you a favor or, or doing something for you, going out his way for, for you, you should appreciate that, man. And don't abuse that. You know? So, um, you know, I just... That's pretty much it on that, man. Um, so, hey, man, Lord willing, you know, your brothers and you, you few sisters were edified, you know, and... Uh, I believe um, a brother had posted a, a vision of, um, and I believe the end of the of the video, you know, this young uh, Northern tribe girl, she was crying because she had a vision of Yahweh Shai coming back. And that's the part that touched me the most when she was crying because she sensed the power and the majesty of Yahweh Shai, you know? And even us brothers that are in the faith, that are doing this work faithfully, you know, we are going to be afraid and fearful when we see our Lord, because that's unlike anything we've ever seen, you know, in a lot of lifetimes. And we don't remember, you know, dying and going back up there and seeing him, you know. So, you know, just try to try your best to stay on the Lord's good side, man. You know, guys like, you know, Elazar, you know, Deacon Haka, General Yohanna, Tazariak, which I don't believe Tazariak is going to make it neither, man. I don't I don't believe he's gonna make it. Johnny Hanna is definitely not making it. You know. Hell, I don't know if I'm gonna make it. But I pray to I pray to the most side that I do. You know. Not to say I'm out here doing anything wicked, so I'm damn sure I'm not. Fuck that. You know? Because I look at it as this, and I always tell brothers, especially brothers with you know, with with children, with sons and daughters, now you got something else to fight for, you know. Now you got something else to push you harder in this truth, you know. So um, I want to keep on going, man. But you know, it's uh, six twenty-eight, and I gotta be at work at seven. So and I gotta put my work gear on. So um, hey, man. So uh, Lord willing, you know, you brothers, you sisters are edified. You know, this show should be up, maybe like around later, later on today. You know, in the afternoon. So hey, I believe. King Masha, which I'm gonna, I'm gonna call this, I'm gonna, Lord, I'm gonna entitle this show that, or if I forget, I give it a new title. But I believe King Masha, I mean, High Priest uh, Masha is King David. You know, I truly believe that, with all my spirit, with all my heart, you know. And um, High Priest Arya, I truly believe that is Joshua, the High Priest. You know, I true, I truthfully believe that, and I believe he will wake up. You know, and we will see King David raised up again. You know, David our king, man. You know, and we gonna bow the knee to him, man, because he's worthy of that. You know, so um, hey, man. <laughs> like I said, I want to keep on going because the spirit is on me, man. So, you know, y'all brothers, man, stay strong, stay faithful. You know, and respect one another, man. You know. Respect, respect one another, you know, and keep everything in order, man. So with that, Lord willing, you know, I'll be back later. I want to say all praise, honor, glory to Yahweh, Basham Yashai, Basham Rechak, Kodash, Double honesty, apostles and elders, great millstone, honors and salutation. 
to the hopeful elect of Yahweh Shai. Shalom.